Well, hey there, today's Wednesday. I have your word for the day today. My name is Robert, by the way. Today, we're continuing our look at financial health. We've been looking at all these different ways that God wants to transform your life. And I was able to preach this past weekend and share on why this is so important to God. And maybe you feel yourself hearing me say, hey, we're going to talk about finances today. And you're checking out a bit, wanting to keep scrolling or close this out. And I want to encourage you to, to stay put and engage with this passage today because as you go through the Bible, you see this topic of money matters to God. Not because he wants or needs our money, but because he understands that at some level, money is involved with almost every aspect of our life. So he cares about how we handle and manage the money he has given us and how we trust him with it. And in Malachi chapter 3, verse 10, we're given a very unique challenge in regards to how we see our money. It says this, says, bring the full tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house, and therefore put me to the test, says the Lord of hosts. If I will not open the windows of heaven for you and pour down for you a blessing until there is no more need. See, God's here is telling us to commit and trust him in the area of tithing. And to tithe is to give God 10% of our income. Now, God doesn't need our money because he owns everything. And, and you might even be thinking, well, it's easy for you to say you're the pastor of a, a church, you're there, but I will say that the church doesn't need your money either because God will find a way to provide for his church. But the reason you need to tithe and you need to give is so that you can grow in trusting God and allowing him to transform your view of finances. And the promise is that when you do that, you won't be able to contain the blessings that God will bring into your life. It doesn't mean that God turns your $10 donation into a $1,000 deposit in your bank account, but it means that God is going to bring blessings into your life. Those might be spiritual or physical or mental or emotional or relational or vocational, maybe even financial, but these are the ways that he's going to bless us. So how about you? Will you trust God enough to take up his giving challenge? Will you give God 10% of the money that he has already given you and entrusts you with? I hope that you'll grow in this area. I hope that you will listen to God and take up this challenge. I hope that you see God bring endless blessings into your life. Thanks for watching Calvary. Hope that you take this to heart and hope you have a great day. We'll see you next time.